Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, we will learn how to stretch table cells across rows and columns. So as you can see here, we've got this lunch break cell, which is stretching across multiple columns. And we've got this R stable cell, which is stretching across all the rows. So this is our table. Let's add the lunch break row and the R's column. Let's bring up our code editor. Let's minimize it. All right, so we need to add another row here. So let's add a new row. And let's add a new table cell. Let's call it lunch break. Let's save it. And now as you can see, the lunch break cell is just in the first column, but we want it to stretch across multiple columns horizontally. So HTML provides us with a property which defines how many columns should a cell stretch. It's called column span. So let's try that. So call span, let's say three and save it. And now as you can see, the lunch break cell is stretching across the first three columns. But in our case, we need it to stretch across the five columns. So let's change it to five. Let's save it. And now as you can see, the cell is taking the entire with horizontally, but the text is not center aligned. So let's do that. So style, text align, say center. Let's save it. And now our lunch break text is also center aligned. So coming back here, now we need to add this R's column. So let's bring up our code editor. So what we want is a table cell to stretch from the top row to the last row. So let's add a table cell here. Let's say ours, let's save it. And now as you can see, we've got ours as the first table cell in the first row. So we want it to stretch across multiple rows vertically. So HTML provides us with another property row span, which specifies how many rows should a table cell stretch across. So let's try that. Say row span, let's say three, let's save it. And now as you can see, R is stretched across the top three rows, but in our case, we want it to stretch across all six rows. So let's change it to six, let's save it. And now as you can see, R is stretching vertically across all the rows. And that's all we wanted to do. And that's all for today, guys. If you have any doubts or queries, or if you did not understand something, feel free to drop a comment and we will discuss it. See you in the next video. Bye and take care.